Hey everyone, so I wake up this morning talking to my mom, making sure that she gets off to uh, her flight and okay and everything else. She's not here, but she's somewhere else. And so I check Twitter and one of my followers says, of course I'm following this person back, says, uh, I forgot who it was anyway, says, hey, uh, it was about Billy Mays and my response was no. Then I happened to look to the um, right and saw that the number one hashtag was R.I.P. Billy Mays. He died. And it was reported by none other than his son uh, in, at his Twitter page uh, called um, the young, young Billy Mays. And he says, I'm thankful I got to talk to my dad last night. I miss him immensely already, but I feel him with me. And then before that, with the family, I'm not quite sure what to say right now. All the support from you guys does help. On my way to the house, he's gone. I'm going to be strong for him. Thank you all for the thoughts and prayers. Uh, and um, he said, he started off by reporting, my dad didn't wake up this morning. I'm sure you all hear about it. It hasn't hit me, but it's about to. Um, and it, that's, it's just something else, you know, um, to see this. It's just really painful. How did he die? He reportedly hit his head on the plane on landing in Tampa, according to his own Twitter uh, page. Billy Mays was the infomercial king. He talked about everything from car cleaners to eventually gaining a foothold on ESPN, talking about ESPN 360 and ESPN.com. ESPN.com. Oh, excuse me and talk he gained a foothold talking about ESPN 360 and ESPN.com uh, just a man who managed to be everywhere on television with his infomercial systems now if you've never seen Billy Mays in action here is just a 15 15 second sample get it all two orange glow mops a bottle of cleaner and refinisher and three premium pads a huge value, all for just two easy payments of $19.99. Here's how to order. Now you can cross. Rest in peace, Billy Mays. You'll be missed.